Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about square invoices and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you delete items in square invoices? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, a real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to delete items from your square invoices anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running a business, you know that sometimes your inventory changes or things that you offer change. And sometimes you want to go ahead and delete the item that you have available. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in the Square Invoices app. It's this blue and white one here on the top center. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I'm going to go ahead and open my Square Invoices app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my app. This is the home screen. Now, here on the home screen, if you want to delete items from your Square Invoices, go ahead and click on this hamburger menu down here on the bottom right, these three horizontal lines. Once you do that, you will see a drop down menu and you want to look for this line right here called items. Once you do that, you're going to see another drop down menu and click on this one called all items. Okay, so next you're going to see all the different items that you offer on Square Invoices. So go ahead and just scroll through until you find the item that you want to delete. Okay, so I found the item that I want to go ahead and delete. And then in order to go ahead and remove this item from your square invoices, as you can see, you can just scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see this blue button here called delete item. Go ahead and click there. Once you do that, it's going to turn red and then you'll need to press that once again to confirm delete. I'm not going to do that because I still use this square item. So let me close this one out. Okay. It brings you back here to the all items. Now, one thing I want to let you know is unfortunately at the time of the recording of this video, you can't delete multiple items inside of square invoices for some reason. Hopefully in the future they have that available. So unfortunately you will need to delete each item one by one if you wish to do so. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to delete an item on square invoices, that is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching. Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about your Square Invoices app and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you permanently close your Square Invoices account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to permanently delete your Square Invoices account anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you're shutting down your company or maybe you're switching over to a new credit card processor. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process is handled here in the Square Invoices app. It's this blue and white one here on the top center. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to go ahead and open my Square Invoices app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened my Square Invoices app. This is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to permanently delete your Square Invoices account, you need to click on the more button down here on the bottom right. It's these three horizontal lines. Once you do that, you will see a drop down menu. And in order to permanently close your Square Invoices account, you need to click on this button here called settings. It looks like a gear icon. Once you do that, you're going to see another drop down menu and you want to click on this button here called account. Okay, once you do that, you will see information about your particular account. However, in order to permanently close your account, you need to look towards the bottom. There is this red button here called deactivate account. Now, the weird thing about Square Invoices, they call it deactivate. It is actually permanently deleting your account because once you continue on with this process, you're not going to get access to this account again, and you won't have access to the data that you have inside of your Square Invoices afterwards. You will have the chance to download that information before you deactivate. Also, another thing I want to know is if you are going to click on this deactivate activate account button. It's going to permanently delete the account. And then what's going to happen is if you decide to use Square Invoices once again, you'll need to reapply. So again, it says deactivate, which kind of makes it seem like you'll be able to activate it again, but you won't be able to. So let me go ahead and click on deactivate account. Okay. Once you do that, it will open up this browser that gives you a lot of information about deactivating or permanently closing your Square Invoices account. So go ahead and scroll through that, read through it, and then make sure that you want to go ahead and permanently close your account. I'm not going to do that because I still use my Square Invoice account. 
Also, one last thing I want to let you know is if you permanently delete your Square Invoices account, you're not going to get access to it. However, your data is still going to remain with Square, and that's to comply with various governments and tax regulations. So it's not completely deleted off of the face of the planet. It's just that you're not going to have access to that information. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how you can permanently delete your Square Invoices account, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.